Joining us on Sports Seriously this week is a staple of the Tampa Bay Bucks defense, a leader on and off the field, Levante David. Thanks for joining us, Levante. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me. I know it's been a roller coaster uh, season to this point, obvious ups and downs. And the downs were so concerning that you and some others were forced to call players only meetings. So without giving too much away, what was the main point of the conversation and how did it help result in that big win against the Rams for y'all? When you call players only meetings or meetings, just personal meetings with, you know, certain people, certain leaders of the team and stuff like that, just basically, you know, just try to, you know, uh, just try to reach out to people, just try to see what they feel and see where they coming from and certain things like that. Everybody may be feeling different in a certain type of way. So the main thing you want to do is just try to get everybody on the same page and make sure everybody focusing on the main thing. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're a team. We all we all in this together. You know, uh, everybody, one person win, we all win. You know, there's it, nobody to blame but ourselves. So uh, the main thing was just trying to get everybody on the same track, man, and just trying to get ourselves back to where we want to be. And uh, that's in the win column. We was able to get that this past weekend, but uh, we still we still know it's an uh, uphill battle to climb. So uh, we definitely got to uh, continue to uh, try to be the best we can be. What was your reaction on the sideline when Brady put off that miracle comeback? <laughs> Everything I dreamed of, you know. <laughs> Everything I dreamed of just to witness him, you know, uh, go down and uh, pull it out for us in a pivotal moment. And uh, us defensively being able to get a stop with enough time left for him to have the ball and uh, make his magic. You know, uh, uh, that's the thing, man. We have a lot of confidence in the world and uh, the guys that uh, we line up with, you know, on, on game days. And uh, we definitely knew that we gave him enough time to do what he had to do. You know, uh, it, it was much needed. You know what I'm saying? It was much needed. It definitely was a, was a big win for us against a great opponent. But uh, it definitely uh, lit a fire for, for sure. Oh, yeah, a lot of people on the other side of that. I know you're feeling good that you were on the winning side of it watching right. Brady do his thing. Now, you could actually see it at the podium just with how happy Brady was, Brady was, excuse mm -hmm. me, calling that win effing awesome. What was the vibe yeah. like in the locker room after that win? And and frankly, can it turn the season around? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely awesome. You know, we was on a three-game skid, you mm -hmm. know, a uh, losing streak where a lot of things, a lot of stuff that was going on wasn't, you know, wasn't going our way. A lot of uncharacteristic things was going on. So uh, for us to finally get something going in our way, it was definitely a, a great feeling. But uh, like I said, man, it's definitely still an uphill uh, road to climb. You know, we got a lot of great opponents coming up. You know, we go to Germany this week to play against Seattle Seahawks. We already know how they doing. Mm -hmm. They doing really, really well. So it's going to be another battle. But like I said, man, the main thing is we just got to focus on ourselves and just, just take these games one game at a time and see where we at at the end of uh, December. I know it's obviously been a off the field uh, hard time for Tom, and we don't need to dive too deep into the specifics, but that win right there is a perfect example, I feel like, of how Tom can stay focused on the field. So overall, how have you all dealt with and really supported Tom through some of these times? You know, man, you know, it's life. You know, everybody go through things in life, you know, with personal things, you know, with, especially with his situation and other situations that goes on. It's just how, how you handle it, you know, and just having guys like us to support him and have his back, you know, let him do his thing, you know, let him handle how he got to handle it, you know, his personal issues. But uh, for us, you know, as teammates, as men, we just got to have his, have his back, you know, keep him uplifted, you know, uh, keep him you know, uh, keep them motivated. And uh, that's definitely what we try to do. I know it's so wild to hear some people say it, but people on, you know, Reddit, Twitter, when I act like the, the sky is falling and saying, you know, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, these guys are cooked, but you're teammates yeah. with one, played with the other. So what do you say to those uh, folks from what you've seen? Guys like that, you know, with, with Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, man, they done so much for this league. You know, they played a lot of great football for a long time. You know, uh, you know, people have, you know, kind of like down years, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's just the game, man. The way, you know, the way those guys is, you know, obviously I'm witnessing Tom, you know, uh, just, you know, the way the game is. Uh, you just got to keep on battling, keep on battling and uh, taking punches as they come. You know what I'm saying? Everything is basically a counter punch. You know, that's how life is. You're heading overseas to be part of the first NFL game in Germany. What are you most looking forward to? Uh... I don't know. I had a teammate, Aaron Nazacha. He played. He was from Germany, and he always used to say, uh, "Germany is a a great, you know, a great country to, uh, you know, great area to be in and, and tour and whatever like that." So uh, I'm definitely gonna try to, you know, put as much time in, you know, just traveling the city. I heard where we going at is Munich. I heard it's really nice. So I'm definitely gonna try to, you know, get out, get out and about, and uh, 
uh, do things and just try to explore. You know, um, I haven't been out of the country many times in my life, so I'm definitely going to try to uh, try to take advantage of this opportunity. Good luck, and we appreciate you as always for joining us, but have safe travels in Germany, and thank you again so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to try to have fun out there and definitely try to get a win for sure. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here, and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.